Hi guys, happy Thursday and welcome back to my channel, Couponing with Kayla. We are outside of the Publix this morning. We're about to head in here and check out some deals. I'm gonna walk you through the deals in the store, plus I'll have a printable list below the video. So you can print that out, take it to the store with you, and it's gonna help make your shopping trip super easy. Now, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. And if you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, as well as hit that that red subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you don't miss any new ones so let's get in here let's check out the savings we've got some great deals this week including some deals on some paper products we got an awesome new digital coupon that i'm gonna and use for that awesome and new. <laughs> you got an awesome new something else yeah. <laughs> we're both wearing halloween shirts today yeah. i got creep it real <laughs> in mine yes. Halloween world tour. Oh yeah. He keeps asking if we can go to Spirit Halloween. I was like, maybe today or tomorrow we'll we'll go in there and see what they got. You ready to go shopping? Yep. Yep. All right, let's head in here and check out Watch these this. deals. Yep. Ah! <laughs> now All right, y'all. So the first deal I'm picking up today is on the Angel Soft Toilet Paper. We have such amazing deal on this this week. So they're buy one get one free at four seventy nine here at my store. This is the Mega Rolls. It's the four roll pack, but we have a ten off. 40 digital coupon that works on the pre-sale price now that coupon it is scanning for these packs so it does work for them there's other items included with that coupon if you want to mix and match but i'm going to grab all toilet paper and i'm going to show you how you can do this in half bogo or if you are in the true bogo area which is normally florida you can do this deal and get tons of toilet paper for super cheap this week so what we're gonna do in half BOGO, you are gonna grab nine packs of the Angel Soft. If you grab nine packs, your total before the sale price of buy one get one free would be $43.11. Now because we're only paying half of that with the buy one get one free price, your total will be $21.55 at the register. You're gonna clip a 50 cent digital coupon as well as a 10 off 40 digital coupon. That will bring you down to just $11.05 for all nine packs. I have nine packs in my cart right now and look how much toilet paper we are getting you guys for $11. That is so awesome using all digital coupons. Now, if you live in True Bogo, which would be Florida, you would grab 10 packs and your total would be $47.90 before the sale price of buy and get one free. Now, with the half off with the buy and get one free, you would be at $23.95 at the register. Use your 50 cent digital and your 10 off 40 digital and you would pay $13.44 for 10 packs in True Bogo. Still a great deal for all this toilet paper. And keep in mind, if your price is different at your store, if it's not $4.79, you are just going to add up what your price would be before the sale price. You wanna be at at least $40 or $40.50 technically if you're gonna use the $40, the 10 off 40 and the 50 cent coupon. Now also, let me just show you what it looks like here. The breakdown, um, ignore that right above that because that is my um, breakdown from another week. But right here, this is the breakdown of what it looks like for this Angel Soft deal if you wanna grab it. Next, we're gonna pick up some of the Kentucky Legend Bacon. These are buy one get one free this week at $8.99 and we have a $1.50 back on each pack on Ibotta. So that's gonna give you $3 back if you're buying two of them, making it just $6.99 for both packs. Next, we have the Raid Ant Bait. So this right here is $3.99 at my store. You could grab two of them in True Bogo for $3.99, use a dollar digital, pay $2.99, but get a dollar each on Ibotta, making it $0.99 cents for two. Or if you were in half BOGO, you could grab one for just $1.99 because you're going to get it for half price this week. And then you're going to use a dollar digital, pay $0.99 cents in the store, 
get a dollar back when I bought it, making one of these completely free. Next, we have the Betty Crocker fruit snacks. These are buy one, get one free at $3.24. So what we could do is grab two boxes of these and we have a 50 cent off two digital coupon. So you're gonna go ahead and use that. You'll pay $2.74 in the store for two boxes. And then you're gonna get 50 cents each on I bought it up to five of these. So if you wanna grab a few this week, you definitely could. And you're gonna pay only a dollar 74 for two boxes and there's lots of different ones included so just double check and see what all your store has available and make sure you're scanning to make sure that they count for the digital coupon as well as the Ibotta rebate. The thing I'm gonna grab is one of the Betty Crocker frostings right here. Now you could grab like one of these mixes but the reason I'm gonna grab the frosting is because it's only two dollars and eighty five cents is buy and get one free so it would be a dollar forty two in half bogo. We have a one off one digital so it'll make this just 42 cents. Now, if you're grabbing two in True Bogo, it would be 2.85 for two. You'd have the dollar digital. So your final cost would be about $1.85 for two. Still not a bad deal. But I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one right here. I actually was just needing some frosting the other day. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up. Kinder barbecue sauce this week and the other sauces they are buy one get one free but the barbecue sauces are priced at $3.99 which is not a bad price I've never actually tried these before but we have $2.50 back on two on swag bucks so I'm gonna go ahead and grab two because my final cost will only be $1.49 for both um, double check and see if you have any other coupons or rebates I don't have any digital coupons or any I bought a rebates for this but I think $1.49 for two is not bad, so I am gonna go ahead and try a couple of these. General Mills cereals are buy one, get one free this week. So the Cheerios are $4.57, and then the Cinnamon Toast Crunch is $5.19. I have a five off 25 digital that I'm gonna be using, as well as I have a couple of Fetch rebates. So you can see there's lots of different cereals to choose from. The digital coupon that I'm using is a five off 25 General Mills. So I'm gonna grab some other items to go along with the cereal. The next thing I'm picking up is pizza rolls. Buy one, get one free at 6.41. So I recorded this portion in the store, but I had to record over it because the music in the background was so loud. They were playing Taylor Swift, but I was afraid I might get like a copyright on my video. <laughs> so I just silenced it and we're recording over. So with the three boxes of cereal, buy one, get one free. The Cinnamon Toast Crunch was $5.19, so it'll be half price for me. The Cheerios were $4.57 and the Pizza Rolls were $6.41, buy one, get one free. So all these items would total me around $27.15 before the sale price. After the sale price, we're about at $13.57 for all of this. Now we have a five off 25 digital that will come off the pre-sale price. And I also have a 50 cent digital for the pizza rolls. So after the $5.50 in digital coupons, you're gonna be left to pay $8.07 at the register. But we have a rebate on Ibotta for 50 cents each on the pizza rolls. We also have $2 back on the Cheerios and the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So basically if you buy three General Mills cereals, you're gonna get $2 back on Ibotta. Then over on Fetch, I should get at least $1 back and that is for buying three of the cereals. So my final cost should be around 407 for all of this. But after I submitted my receipt, I actually got a couple of dollars back from Fetch. And my final cost for all of these items that you see right here ended up being about $2.76. So as you can see later in the video when I show my receipt, how it ended up being so cheap for three boxes of cereal and two bags of pizza rolls. So some awesome savings. I'm gonna pick up the Totino's party pizza. So these are $2.33. They're buy one, get one free. So if I'm picking up three of these and half BOGO, these are gonna total me $3.49. And we have a dollar off three digital. So you could get three of these pizzas for just $2.49. Chobani yogurts right now are a dollar each and I wanted to just show you guys if you were to pick up two of them check it out they have a new pumpkin flavor it would be two dollars but we have 75 cents back on two on Ibotta and it would make it only dollar 25 for two now if you have this blinky coupon at your store for a dollar off four you could use this and then you can go ahead grab four of them plus you'll get the 75 cents on Ibotta on two making it 225 for four
Several Pillsbury products are buy one get one free this week at $3.76. So I'm going to go ahead and grab three in half BOGO. These will total me $5.64. We have a dollar off three digital and then I also have a dollar back on Ibotta. So with that, it'll be $3.64 for three, which is $1.21 each. But I think that I may have some fetch offers that will also make this a little cheaper. This is everything I'm picking up at Publix today. I'm only using one paper coupon and that is the Blinky coupon I found for the yogurt. Everything else is going to be all digital coupons and rebates, so let's go check out. This is my total with tax for transaction number one, and I was only using the one yogurt coupon. So this is including everything but the cereal and the pizza rolls. You'll type in your phone number at checkout, and that is when all the digitals will apply. You'll type in your phone number and then hit pay. Once you hit pay, you'll see that total drop with any digital coupons you have. So you can see right here, all of our digitals brought down the total quite a bit, 450 of this is tax. Here is our total for transaction number two. Once you hit pay, you'll see your digitals come off and we're left to pay 807 plus tax and then we'll submit for our rebate. So let's head home and look over receipts. And you guys can see here, Axel insisted on carrying all the bags to the car. He did not want to use the cart. Everything that you see right here would have normally cost us $150.93, you guys. So I did two transactions today. The only reason why I split it up into two transactions is because I had the 5 off 25 General Mills coupon on one account. I had already used it on my main account, but you can get, you know, different Publix accounts um, based off phone numbers. So for example, I normally just use my main account that has my phone number but I do have a separate Publix account with Chloe's phone number. So what I did is I used my five off 25 on that one. So I did the General Mills cereal and the pizza rolls on one, but everything else I did on my account. So we're gonna go over our main transaction first and then we'll go over that one. We got such great savings today. So let's go ahead and look at my receipt for all the other items besides the pizza rolls and the cereal. So you can see all of my items here, everything rang up correctly, no issue there. You can see I used that one $1 coupon that was for the yogurt. And then for digital coupons, we had the dollar off the raid, the dollar off of the pizzas. Um, we had a dollar off of Pillsbury, a dollar off of Betty Crocker which was for the icing. We had 50 cents off General Mills and that was for the uh, fruit snacks. And then I had 50 cents off of Angel Soft and the $10 off 40 coupon that was also off of Angel Soft. Now the only coupon that I can think of that I was expecting to come off that didn't was my other 50 cent digital. I think the reason it didn't come off is because I had a 50 cent digital that attached only to um, Gushers, um, and then I had a 50 cent digital that attached to multiple different ones. So when I scanned these and these, it showed me two 50 cent off two digitals. When I scanned these, it only showed me one. So I'm thinking the one that attached to these attached to those. And then so the other 50 cent digital didn't attach to those. So anyways, um, I lost their 50 cent savings that I thought I was going to get, but overall still really good. Um, on my total, my total was 41.55 plus tax. Of course, you know, depending Depending on your area, your tax is going to be different. So I'm going to do my totals without tax. So if you're at $41.55 for all of these items, down here you can see that in manufacturer coupons, I saved $16. Special price savings like sale prices and buy one, get one free. I saved $56.23. So a total savings of $72.23 on this transaction. Now for this transaction, I went ahead, I submitted my receipt over to Swagbucks for $2.50 back on the Kindle sauces. I submitted to Ibotta where I'm getting back a total of $6.75 and then I also submitted over to Fetch Rewards and between all the different um, rebates I had on Fetch, it ended up giving me back a total of $4.69. So I uh, had lots of different offers for like General Mills and things like that. So uh, once those total together, that's how much I ended up getting back. So it made everything that you see right here besides the cereal and the pizza rolls 
just $27.61, okay? And then I did my separate transaction for the cereal and the pizza rolls, and you can see all my items. You can see my 50 cent digital for pizza rolls and my five off 25, those all came off. My total before tax was $8.07. So I saved $5.50 in manufacturer coupons, $13.58 in sale prices, so that saved me $19.08. Now on this transaction right here, I went ahead and I submitted over to Ibotta where I'm getting back a total of $3 between the cereal and the pizza rolls. And then over on Fetch, it gave me back $2.28. So it made all five of those items only $2.79 for two bags of pizza rolls and three boxes of cereal. And let me just tell you guys, this transaction right here, if you went into Publix and there was no buy one get one free, there were no coupons, these three boxes of cereal and these two bags of pizza rolls would normally cost $37.15. Not only did we only pay $8.07 in the store, but after your rebates, which are so easy to do, so if you're not signed up on the rebate apps, like I bought a Fetch Rewards, Swagbucks, I have those all linked below. You get bonuses for signing up. So worth it to get cash back because we got all of that, $37 worth of items, which I think it's crazy to pay that amount, that amount for that. Um, $2.79, you guys. So $2.79 for all of this, then everything else on my other transaction, like I said, final cost of $27.61. And that transaction where I did all the other items would have normally cost $113.78. My final cost for everything today was $30.40, and I will take that. I thought that that was an awesome, awesome savings on all of this. So let me know down in the comments below if you're going to grab any of the same deals. As always, I appreciate you guys so, so much for taking the time to watch these videos. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit that red subscribe button below so you don't miss any savings. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys. Say bye, Paulo. You are not eating my bacon. It's not going to happen, buddy. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Thank you.